years ago, Rotor came out with its power meter, the Rotor Power. Now, for 2015, we have the Rotor Power LT, a left crank based power meter. David Martinez is here to explain to us how the two systems work and, in particular, what's new about Rotor Power LT. This is a strain gauge based system. Explain to us where the strain gauges are and how exactly this works to capture power. Well, in the Rotor Power, we have eight strain gauges, four per arm. Now what we did is, uh, this is a left side power meter with a second price point. Here we have four strain gauges and this power meter is, is built around our crank, which is light and stiff due to Trinity drilling system. Trinity drilling system is a manufacturing way to do it hollow by means of three holes from the back of the crank. Mm -hmm. Therefore we place strain gauges in the two lateral holes. There is a bridge in between the gauges so the output signal for power is, is quite clean. Well, it's not just a matter of measuring what your maximum watt is, your current watt output is. There's a whole host of metrics. Rotor introduced a couple metrics, the pedal smoothness and torque effectiveness with the rotor power. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with those two terms, could you explain what those are? What is torque effectiveness and what is pedal smoothness? Effectiveness is a rating between the, the positive power versus the total power. Pedal smoothness is the average divided by the peak of the, the, the maximum power. These two metrics are related and they give you an indication of how your pedal is. If you are uh, pushing more than, more than pulling, of course, this is, the, this is always the case, but if you pull and how much you pull. So there, there are two systems you can, or two metrics you can use to improve your pedal stroke. These are two added values to, to track and to monitor your training and to improve your performance. With Rotor Power and Rotor Power LT being amp plus, you can use it with any head, virtually any head unit with a number of different softwares. You can use it Strava, Training Peaks, etc. There's also a free software that people can use. Yes. And tell us about Rotor Power. This is a software we developed, just an added value for our product. With your PC or Mac, uh, having just an Amplus USB stick, you can connect to your computer. We have four modules. I will, center, I will be focusing the two main ones, which are the training mode and the service mode. Okay. The training mode is for indoor training. It's a nicer way to monitor your indoor training. You can see here the graphics for cadence and power, but also the new metrics we were talking about, about the balance, left, right, the torque effectiveness, and the pedal smoothness. So you're getting these things in real time as you're... That's it, with the, with the plot of the, of the metrics. And then you can export training either in feed files or CSV, CSV files for Excel analyze, an analysis afterwards. Uh, if we come back to the main menu, here we have like a service mode, which is a diagnosis tool for the, for the users. Okay. Here you can see which is your software release, which is your hardware release. This is a, a tool for upgrading your firmware in the future via wireless, only with the USB stick and a calibration, the same calibration button you can find on the monitor, on a Garmin or Sunt or Sins device, and plus compatible, you can calibrate also here with us. This software is for free, it's available on our Rotor website, you just need to register and, and get it. Good options, great tools. Thanks, David. You've been watching Bike Radar. We're adding new videos all the time, so don't forget to click subscribe and let us know what you'd like to see more of in the comments below.